Amson County that we're going to watch because it'll eventually rotate up into the area that's more conducive for tornadic development. So over the next several hours, uh, we will watch the movement of these rain bands to see if more tornado warnings will be issued. But right now, this is the one we're watching over parts of Nash County and Franklin County, actually I should say Franklin County up toward Warren County and also Vance County. It continues to move up toward the north. So let's um, delve back in a little bit deeper and let's go to Kat because she's got a good view of the debris ball out of this. Uh, I'm just hearing from the National Weather Service in Raleigh. They are confirming that this is a tornado debris signature for us. It looks a lot more prominent on this new scan. Confirmed tornado now on the on the polygon you're saying. OK, so the polygon is now uh, should be lighting up purple here in just a moment to let you know that this is actually a tornado on the ground. Oh, there you see the tornado is now confirmed from the National Weather Service. We do have debris on the ground. This is near the Epsom community and right here is the county line between Franklin County and uh, Vance County. So we're going to see this debris track uh, and likely the tornado on the ground move into Seaman Way and eventually Henderson. If you live in Henderson, there is a tornado on the ground. You really need to be heading down into your safe place, the most interior room in your home as possible in the lowest level. I do want to mention, you know, don't panic. If you live in Henderson, a lot of these tornadoes today have dropped down and lifted up rather quickly. So there is hope that this will lift before it gets to you. So remain calm, you know, be prepared, not scared is what we always like to say. But now's the time you need to take this seriously. This is a confirmed tornado that is going to be headed for Henderson. It's going to also track along Highway 1. And the new scan just popped in here and the debris a little bit more diffuse there as it's crossing into southern Vance County. However, uh, as we look at the new velocity scan coming in here, we'll go to storm relative velocity. You can still see somewhat of a signature there for rotation. So this green, that's the the winds moving toward the radar, the red moving away from the radar, and that coincides with where we've got the debris. It is just about to pass on the east side of town in Henderson. Meteorologist Mike Mays is standing by with the latest on this. Yeah, you can definitely see how it develops. Let's take a look at this. This is from 702, and this is where the couplet started to develop, right over the Epsom community as it was moving into Vance County. So let's advance this uh, frame by frame. So that's where the tornado is or was at 702. There's 704. And as we go through time, that's the latest scan. Yeah, it's a little bit broader in nature, but still the potential exists uh, that there could be something on the ground. Again, as Kat mentioned, uh, moving toward the radar site, moving away from the radar site. So you have your rotation right now in this vicinity. So let's zoom in and see where we're at. So there is Vicksboro. There's Weldon's Mill. Uh, there is State Road 1526, Vicksboro Road. You are under the gun right now. Stewart Farm Road. Uh, there's probably uh, either a tornado on the ground or perhaps rotating clouds or a funnel cloud. Uh, Cokesbury, you're in line next. Brookstone, Brookston, you are too. Now let's go back and take a look at the uh, debris detector as we start this. So there's where we started. There is the little debris signature. Let me go back one more step because you don't see the debris there. Seven o'clock, there's no debris, there's no tornado on the ground. The next scan, boom, that little spot that you see right there, again, that's the debris that the dual pole radar shows. That's the benefit of having a dual pole radar. You can see the debris that's elevated into the atmosphere. And then it's more pronounced in the next scan. Definitely can see that just north of Epsom heading toward Weldon's Mill. That means whatever it hit, the tornado hit on the ground, was elevated into the air. Could be trees, hopefully it's just trees and no homes or buildings, no debris like that. And then we advance it again, and you can see that the debris heads up over toward Weldon's Mill, and our latest scan, and Cat Campbell's pointing something out, touchdown behind, behind Epsom Fire Department on Highway 39 near Eves Road, power lines down. So that is from the National Weather Service in their chat room. Uh, before that, it was saying funnel cloud went over Epsom Fire Department, then a touchdown behind the fire department on Highway 39 near Eves Road, and they also reported power lines down. So this is a confirmed tornado, touchdown right behind the fire department there. And so you need to go to your safe shelter right now, safe spot. Let me uh, broaden out the view, put the velocities back on, and there's the couplet, it's still there. So let's do a storm track moving to the North at about 40 miles per hour. Let's see the new locations and timing. And let me put some towns on here. 
Okay, so Cokesbury, 715. That's about four minutes from now. Brookston, 717. Flat Rock, 720. Middleburg, 720. Jackson.